Welcome to Japan, 2015. It has been a long six years since Godzilla was last seen, along with all the other monsters, since we put them all on Monster Island. Although it has been rumored that Monster Island is beginning to sink, no monsters really have been reported gone. But if they are, then good. The lack of these monsters and the destructive weight that follows them allows us to evolve more and more each day. So, with that said, so let's celebrate the supposed death of these monsters and enjoy the life we have now, and how good we have it. So, how's the wife, Carl? She's good. How's your lover? Oh, Phil is good. My daughter is even good. She just got accepted into the school she wanted. Nice. What was that place's name again? Ifukube University. Nice. From what I heard, it's a pretty good place. From what I saw, it is. What was that? No clue. Just get your guns loaded. Okay, okay. I heard something! Don't make any sounds. The animal will show itself. Okay. What the? Ah! Ow! Okay, show yourself, you beast from hell! Will these costumes work? It should. Why would I tell you to take one of the bodies if this plan was a bad idea? Well, you don't always think everything out. At least I'm better at planning ahead. Now let's end this and do our mission. Find the third Mecha Godzilla. Everyone, may I present to you my 30th arrested, Carmen Manzo, aka the Venting Machine Breaker. Nice job, Jake. Glad you were able to bring this guy in. Now, let's get him booked. All right. Have fun with it. Come on, keep moving. Let's go, let's go. So, are you still enjoying these small crimes? Or do you want a bigger mystery to solve? Well... To be honest with you, Charles, I still enjoy these small-time crimes. I mean, I don't get hurt that much, and not as many hits to the face as many would think so. Yeah, I think I'm enjoying smaller crimes. Why do you ask? Because it looks like the captain wants you to join me in a case. What? Why? No clue. He said this might be up your alley, since it's sci-fi related. This has to be a mistake. I don't think it is. You can speak to him about it if you like. You know what? I think I will. Sir, we need to talk. I didn't say you can come in, Detective. I know, sir. However, I need to speak to you about this new case. I don't think it's the right job for me. I believe it is. Why? Because it has some sci-fi mystery in it. Turns out two people went missing in the woods. Port was also sitting that, in quote, a glowing light was seen falling near there, end quote. I remember you telling me that you always told everyone you wanted a case like this. I mean, I did. But it's just that it's, well, more work. And with Charles, I mean, he isn't the greatest partner ever, so, you know. Detective, you've been assigned to this case and don't do it. We don't have many other detectives that can do this. Plus, the reason Charles is assigned to this case with you is because of what's going on in his life. What could be going on in his life that he had to be my partner for this case? His wife left him. His brother died. And his father and mother went missing. He's one of the best detectives we have. But you all don't care to speak to him. Not even about his army background. So Charles was in the army. You would have known that if you talked to him. Now just do the case with him. As I understood, detective. Yes, Captain. Good. Now have fun to solve this mystery. On it, Captain. Let's go. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. It's right here. Place the bomb down. On it.
Ready? Ready. Computer, awaken. Scanning. Scanning complete. Welcome, Rewa and Nomas. How can I help you? We must know why Mechagodzilla 3 isn't finished yet. Why was it never released to fight against Godzilla and humanity? The reason is because in 1978, the team of engineers that were assigned to finishing Mechagodzilla were murdered. Their bodies now remain seven feet under these grounds you walk upon. Sad to hear what happened to them, but we will finish what they started. What percentage is Mechagodzilla at? He is at 24%. Then let's fix that. Continue the work on Mechagodzilla right now. On it. Tessa, what is in this glass case? The heart of Mechagodzilla. It was said to only remain in here, and to never be released outside of these walls. Hmm. Well, is there any chance we could launch his heart into space, but still have him be operational? We would just have his heart become a satellite. Why would you want to do that? Because if Godzilla senses him and comes to destroy him, he won't be able to fully do it. False. He would still be able to. How? There would be two hearts. One in Mecha Godzilla, and the one to be launched into space in order to be fully operational the one in space will need a supplementary energy source true but can we turn his heart into a missile too it will gain power from the sun and if mecha godzilla is destroyed anyway then the heart and the stars could become a missile that could shoot at godzilla or just at this planet itself that would terminate all life forms on the planet as long as the earth is destroyed that's all that matters all right take off <laughs> Four, three, two, one, blast off. This will work. We've thought this through. I would love to see Godzilla try and stop us. I would just love to see anyone try and stop us in general. It will be a show to behold. Any idea who that guy is? No clue. I'll start a conversation with him. Get your gun ready in case he tries anything. Roger. Hey, pal. What are you doing here? My job, that's what. Ah, so what's that job? And what's your name? My job is classified, and you can call me Logan. Logan what? Just Logan. That's it. Okay, well, Logan, this is a police matter, not a nutcase matter. So I'm gonna ask you to leave. I can't. This is a matter of my department for my job, not a police matter. Well, you haven't really told me what your job is, so I don't know what matters for your department. That's a good thing. Let's keep it that way. Look, if you don't leave or tell me what you're doing here, then me Your and partner will be forced to arrest me and take me back for questioning. I know how this goes. It's common now. Oh. Well, then leave. No, but here's a better option. You and your partner can come on this case with me so that you two can feel like the big dogs. How's that sound? Well, uh, uh, I guess we can. Good. Now, let's keep moving. We have to follow the heat of these tracks. How is heat getting off from tracks? Are you questioning my tracking skills? Because you shouldn't. Now, let's go.
call for backup. Copy. Backup needed near the forest. Found a guy who won't talk, might be armed. Backup come in soon. Over. Well, that's something to behold right here. Hey, Logan. What are you doing? It's something that could be useful to us. Whoa, right, pal. Let's go. Wait a minute. You had a gun this whole time? Yeah, it's kind of something that, I don't know, comes with the job. Now, come on, let's go. Hmm, not bad. It's all white and could use more color, but not bad. All right, follow my lead. I don't think so, Logan. You see, we're the cops here, and we don't know who you are and what your job is. So I'll take the lead. Right, Charles? Actually, I think Logan should take the lead. What? Smart guy. All right, let's rock. You're seriously going to let him take over our case? You don't even know who he is. I might, actually. I'm not too sure. But I feel like he knows what to do. So you're going off a hunch. Isn't that risky? Anything in this job is risky. Now let's get moving. Fine. But if anything happens to us, it's on you. Okay. I'm used to adding death to my soul. Well, that's dark. Get to the wall. Now. Mecha Godzilla is at 85% completion. No way. They rebuilt Mecha Godzilla? Well, this case just got a lot weirder. I thought all the Mecha Godzillas were destroyed. I mean,. You had one in 1974 and another in 1975 that teamed up with Titanosaur. How is there another? That's a good question I'd like the answer to as well. What was that? I'm trying. Unwelcome guest. Don't let them escape. I won't. I'm with Logan. you on that Let's one. go. Hold on! I'm coming! The guests escaped. What are we gonna do? We'll have to release Mecha Godzilla. Is that the, is best, that the move? best move? It's the only one we have. Wait for me Wait to for return. Me return. We'll talk, we'll to, talk Tessa to Tessa about, about this once, once I return. I return. Copy that. I think we're far away from them now. Me too. You good? Yeah, you. What about you, Logan? Head base. MG-03 is true. I need a 4673 right away. I'm at the mountain that peaks. Do you read me? Loud and clear. 4673 will be there soon. Remain where you are and keep us updated on any movement coming towards you. So... Are you an alien? No, I'm actually a... GFM. What? A GFM. G-Force member. I had a feeling I knew what you were doing. Your name isn't just Logan. It's Private Logan Camrose. That is correct. Commander Charles Norman. So your last name is Norman. So G-Force kept track of this? Yes. We've had the theory that there was another Mecha Godzilla being built. We just didn't know where. Some people at G-Force believe the reports we've gotten to be another King Ghidorah or Gigan coming. However, I was someone who had the feeling that the shooting stars were alien ships, trying to find something that was left behind. Well, looks like you're right then, Private. So what's our next move, Commander? We'll have to make sure the troops arrive sooner rather than later. We can't stop the aliens right here and now. Wow. I wasn't thinking this is how the mission would go. Well... That's Japan for you. Anything can happen. Hmm. Fair point. Tessa, we must release Mecha Godzilla. Are you positive you would like to proceed? Mecha Godzilla is only at 90% capacity of completion. I would advise to wait for completion. We have the heart in. What isn't finished yet? The jaw. If Mecha Godzilla tries to roar, there is high probability the jaw will snap. Estimated time of completion? 15 to We don't 20. have time. Release him now. I would advise he not be released until 100% completion. Well, then I guess the system is overridden. Release Mecha Godzilla now. Are you positive you would like to proceed with this override? Yes. Very well. Mecha Godzilla will be released now. <laughs> Now, unleash Mecha Godzilla onto Japan. On it.
Mecha Godzilla might be headed to Japan. What are we gonna do? Radio the captain. We'll need some officers to help the citizens get to a safe place. Can you get some troops to Japan? With one simple code. I can. Then do it. We need to protect everyone. Everyone, may I have your attention, please? I've gotten word that a Mecha Godzilla is coming towards Japan. We need to get out there and get everyone on the ground. I need some officers to drive around and tell everyone what's going on, and I need some help to help the elderly get underground. Do whatever you can. Now go. So, look who chooses to show up. Shall we have Mechagodzilla kill him? Yes. Great. Tessa, have Mechagodzilla kill Godzilla. On it. Why hasn't Godzilla come towards us? Most likely because he learned from the other times with Mecha Godzilla. We have to let Mecha G go to him. Are you positive you would like to proceed with this? Doesn't matter. Now, move in. What does it say? Mecha Godzilla has left. They'll be following close behind him. How many officers are following him? Only five. The rest are helping others in the city. So who are we gonna have help us attack the base? Them. Commander Charles, what are your orders? I'm not leading you on this one. He is. But sir, he's only a private. He may be, but he knows what to do. So follow his lead, and I'll be following close behind. Very well. So these are G-Force Troopers. Nice. So, when are we moving in? We move in now. What are we going to do? I don't know. We have to find a way to stop the humans from getting in. Tessa, do we have anything that can stop the humans from entering the base? The only weapon we have is Ava. Who is Ava? Ava is the protector of the base. She will make sure that no one can enter and will stop them. Ava is fully operational and ready to fight. How is Ava's armor? Ava's armor is durable and should withstand any attacks from the humans. Then unleash Ava. On it. <laughs> Ava! 
Is that a robot? Find the weak spot, then we'll be able to take the robot out. I'm on it! Abel's doing very well, and look at this. Nikandadzilla has returned. Good. No! He actually followed him? Godzilla is losing. What are we going to do? We have to give Mechagodzilla more power. But how can we do that? We'll give them all the base's power. But then the humans will enter in and take us down. But remember, even if they kill us, we have a missile in the sky. True. Tessa, give all the power that the base can give to Mechagodzilla. My routing the power supply will reduce Ava's operational ability to 7%. Would you like to proceed? Yes, just do it. Very well. Down! Let's go! Tessa, close the door. Now. On it. Damn it! Can anyone get this door open? I can. Alright, get it open. I'll see what I can do. Missing Hunter controlling Mecha Godzilla. Now, you both want to give up and go to jail? Are you dumb? Excuse me? Are you dumb? Do you honestly think the Hunter could be smart enough to do this? Because they aren't. We killed the Hunters. We took their skins and used them as a costume. We couldn't just let you know we were aliens. We had this whole plan to take the world. So what would taking their skin do? How would that even help you reach your goal? Because if other humans believe that the human did it, the others would turn on each other. Impossible. How could that turn people on each other? That makes no sense. But it does. Because if people believe that we took it, how long would it take for others to back up what we do? Many will believe what we say. You may think that it won't happen, but it can. Because from our studies, humans have only become dumber. You just haven't seen Shut it up. yet. Now, turn off the next Godzilla. No. Then we'll do it ourselves. You fools! Do you have any idea what you did? I think I do. But it isn't over, because there's still the missile. The what? The missile. The one that controlled Mecha Godzilla. Now that he's been defeated, the final card will come down. Once it lands, all of Earth will be erased. But you'll die with us. Doesn't matter, as long as our people are able to arrive here, and live here, and tell the story of our mission. Then we've still won. Is there any way you can stop it? There's no fighter jets coming, are there? No, sir.
How could this happen? We were so close to greatness. So what's next? Our deaths. So one of them is dead. What are we going to do now? Well, we have one extraterrestrial. However, they're going to have to tell their families that these two have died. So, the hardest part of the job. What will I tell them? You won't. I'll tell them the truth. Is that the best thing to do, though? I don't know. I just know they deserve the truth. I mean, my father never told one person who deserved the truth about how their family member died. And who was that? Your brother. Excuse me? My father told me when you were very young. The truth was kept hidden. My brother died because of a car crash. No, he died fighting against Gigan. He died a hero, but they didn't want you to know the truth. But why would they lie to me and to my father and to my family? That I will never understand. But I want you to know that my father regrets every moment of not telling you. He took that to his grave, but I feel you should know. Why did you choose to tell me this now? Because I feel like I know why you never want to go on these bigger cases. Because of the hardest part. The part about the truth. It was best you knew the truth. I know it hurts. But it's better to know what happened and not the lies that were told. Well, thank you for telling me the truth. Now, let's get out of here. Private Logan. I've gotten word that you're being promoted. You'll be ranked as a commander if you choose to accept it. I've been waiting years to hear those words. I do accept. Good. I'll tell them the news. Good job on the promotion, Commander. Thank you, Commander. I'll do you proud. Don't just do me proud. Do yourself proud. So, this case was truly weird for you, wasn't it? It was. But I've learned and seen a lot from this. So what are you going to do now? I think I'm gonna need a vacation, to be honest with you, sir. I don't blame you. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> so, Captain, I've gotta ask, if Godzilla is still alive, what does that mean for the Earth? Well, it can mean anything. It can mean the new age of is on the rise. It could also mean that more aliens will arrive and try to take the world over. However, I believe one thing. Even in the darkest time of humanity, the hopelessness of our world comes around shows his ugly head. The only one I know is no matter what it is, is that we always have one protector that will help, that will have hope returns, and our darkest time will end fast. We once viewed him as our enemy, but maybe the only reason he fights for us is because he knows that we share the world, and if we lose the earth, he'll lose it too. He only fights for our world because it's his home too. Godzilla too. Hey pal, wanna explain why you just fell from the sky and just came crashing down? I didn't see no plane. So something's up. You wanna explain to me what's going on here? <laughs> 